An early morning fire engulfed a popular restaurant in Farmersville. La Mejora is currently closed and fenced off after the flames destroyed a large portion of the restaurant. Action News reporter Brianna Willis shares how much this family business meant to the community and how they hope to rebuild in the future. La Mejor is more than just a restaurant for Efren Garcia. I actually had my wedding reception here back in 97. It's a part of his family and identity. He says for as long as he can remember, he would come to get authentic tortillas, tamales, and... A couple pounds of carnitas and everybody just shares them with the fresh tortillas or the bolillo. All things he was currently craving. I was literally going to come out to grab some today. But early Saturday morning, a piece of his childhood went up in flames. It's sad to see this happen. Uh, we did everything we could to knock it down. We got a good, we knocked it down pretty quick. Not only is there damage inside of the restaurant, but also outside. You can see this entire patio area is now only left with char and rubble. Um, this was a space where people could just eat, relax, and enjoy the weather while also enjoying the food. Rafael Vasquez's grandparents own La Mejor, a place that's been there since childhood, and it was his first job. Um, it's very devastating. He lives just next door and was there when the fire broke out. It was a rude awakening with my dog just kind of, you know, causing a stir. Vasquez says in 2020 and 2021, his grandparents passed away and they were able to keep their memories alive until now. And so we had like this religious um, uh, mural dedicated to them where people could come and pray if they wanted to and then pay their respects to my late grandparents as well. For Garcia, he remembers seeing the owners as he grew up and was grateful to be able to honor them after they passed. It's sad that the shrine is gone, along with the hard work. While the cause of the fire is still unknown, Vasquez is grateful for the community's support thus far. We, we appreciate the support, and we just we, we hope and pray that we have another opportunity in the future. Something Garcia is hoping and praying for, too. Well, hopefully they rebuild and come back better than ever. Employees have started a GoFundMe to help with rebuilding expenses. If you would like to donate, we have that link on our website, abc30.com. In Farmersville, Brianna Willis, ABC 30 Action News.